What's up, guys? It's Zed, and this is episode 28 of the Fever 22 player career mode with Conrad Zan. And we are currently about to smash the Premier League record that is 32 goals. We are still in February, and we have 28 goals in the Premier League, and the competition record is 32. We're projected to have 45, and that is. That is going to be pretty cool if we can actually reach that. I think Messi and Ronaldo's, or rather, is it Messi that holds the record at 451 in, in La Liga or Ronaldo? I'm not quite sure. But all that doesn't really matter. We are on 173 goals in 161 games, and we are, I think that is 27. We are 27 goals away from reaching our 200 mark. First match we're going to be playing this one against Huddersfield. We are not uh, fully fit, but we're going to be starting the match anyways. And and this is the match that we're supposed to play because I think we drew or lost the first the, the first leg. But anyways, let's see what we can do in this match. We are away against Hollers Field and I'm very, very confident we're going to be coming out with the win. Alright, we're supposed to get a 9.0 match rating, complete 10 passes in the in the opponent's half and then get a conversion rate of at least 70%. We're going to be going with this one here. The attacking passes and I'll talk to you guys after the match. Hopefully, Derek, we get more of the same today. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, his recent form speaks for itself. Four goals in the last... Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. There it is. A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. He just let his opponent. And a goal. The equaliser. Superb entertainment. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance and makes good contact with the... Are they going to forge ahead? Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Can they take the lead here? Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. One for them, but not to be. Plenty of options. He could pick out a teammate. Can he put it away? And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. He made it look simple, really. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. It must go in, surely. And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation. Well, here it is again. It's an easy finish in the end, but what was the keeper thinking? That's a poor bit of defending. Robertson. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Zan. He takes aim. Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort. And Benza. Reese Brown. Chances on. A goal! Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, here's the replay. The little one-two starts everything off. And once he gets onto it, he just... Time and circumstances against Liverpool. But still, they might hit back. Let's fly here. And a fantastic diving save. Well, this late corner could represent their last chance to equalise. The clearance wasn't decisive. Oh, he saved it well. We'll have one additional minute. 
Okay, so we have lost. I have no interest in talking about anything as much, but this match was a real piss show. I'm fucking annoyed at everything that happened in this match, to be honest. But we move, we are out of the FA Cup. That is one trophy that we are, we are not going to be able to win this season, so let's just scrap that out of our minds, let's move on. And. Ah, that's so fucking annoying. And of course, we win the man of the match, and the other team. Ah, shit. This is. This sucks so hard though. Anyway, next match this one against Wolves that we're kind of low on stamina, so I'm going to be simming past this match. I'm not going to do the normal thing because that will also mean we're playing it, so I'm just going to come all the way here to the Arsenal match. Isn't Champions League supposed to be sometime soon? Oh, we weren't in Champions League, we were in the, uh, what's it called? The Europa League, or was it Conference League? One of those though. So I just saw that, uh, Chelsea is right now tail. They're just three points. So if we lose this match and they win their match, they're going to be uh, drawn on us with points. And we cannot have that. So we have to get over the performance in the last match and actually do something in this match. Our match objectives are 9.0 match rating, 18 position of 60. And our personal favorite, a dribble success rate of at least 50%. We're going to be enhancing this one. Can we continue our hot run of form in the Premier League with... I think 28 goals so we have a chance to reach like maybe 30 goals in this match but anyway if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to smash the like button or to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn post notifications on and then drop comments on what you want to see in the series in the future can they convert an early goal it is the ideal opening no, to be honest, it's like there's something actually wrong with this defense because what the fuck? How, how was it that easy? How, how was it that easy? Oh my fucking god. Jesus. Like they didn't even have to work for that goal. They just like dashed in the fucking goal and that doesn't even make any freaking sense. Ah, <sighs> god. And there's the delivery. And he's dispatched the header. Short corner favoured. And making the move to the inside. Well, giving it a go in a bid to hold them back into this one. Partey. Thomas Partey. Surely, and it goes! A three-goal cushion, and you truly sense it's a matter of how many. Well, we can take another look now. It's great interplay between the two of them to start the move off. And then what a strike. That's it with such ferocity. And that brings to an end the first half here at Anfield. Alright, so that's the first half. It was completely shit. I can't believe they beat us. They got three past our net at halftime. We still have 45 minutes more to go and we are not giving up. We just have to at least get a draw in this match because I was just talking about Chelsea drawing on points with us if we lose and we win. And that's exactly what we are doing. We're fucking losing. <sighs> so, we just have to calm down, get the right passes. Do everything right and just like try to at least come back in this game. Sadio Mane now. He takes aim. And how about that for a save? Well, he knew he had to get to the ball and he did. Has a go. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Right, I've got to quickly throw it over to Alex because I believe there's been a goal at the Vitality Stadium. It's a goal from Manchester City. It was an early cross which found him in acres of space and it was a beautiful headed finish. It's now 2-1 with 53 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. Can he take the chance? A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. 
Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Alex for the details. It's a second goal for Bournemouth. It's all level again at 2-2. Can he finish? He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. They are now behind 2-1 with 80 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Opportunity, and there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping. Mane. Can he put it away? Palms away by the keeper. And the corner for Liverpool. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, it has come to nothing. And a long way out here. In it goes! It looked as though they were down and out. Not a bit of it. What will happen next? Well, here it is again. And just look at this. It's such good technique. It's a wonderful strike from that range. The sound of the referee's whistle and the headline... All right, two things. It's a good thing that we didn't give up. We actually got a hat-trick at the end of the match there. We, we beat the Premier League record at the worst match possible. And we are probably going to be tied on points with Chelsea, which is what we're trying so hard to avoid. Again, Liverpool fucked me up so bad. They fucked me up so bad. I mean, that defence was just complete shit. I, don't, I really don't know what happened to the defence this season. But, I mean, there's really nothing we can do about it. Second time in a row that we are going to be hiding our, our success from the team because we lost the match. I go a hard trick, we, we lost the match. That, is, that just didn't make any sense whatsoever. But, I mean, stuff like this happens. And, well, it's not, it's not a lot that we can do about it. All right, so we have the match against, Ma against Chelsea and Manchester, and Manchester United. I will play those two matches and maybe maybe I will sim to the home match of the uh, uh, Europa League and that'll, that's where I'll call it a day. Alright, we're supposed to get an, an 8.5 rating. We're supposed to avoid losing the match and we're supposed to get at least two goals or assists. So we're, just, we're going to enhance this one in the middle and I'll talk to you guys after the match is over. It's Chelsea taking on Liverpool. What a chance for one of these teams to get their hands on silverware. And over the years, we've seen some great League Cup finals. Let's hope today matches up to some of those occasions. Really looking forward to this one, Derek. A huge loss for the club, you've got to say, Stuart. Well, what a player he's been, and still is. But he obviously thinks his body can't cope anymore, which is a great shame. Oh, yeah. big chance here. Oh, yes! Goal for Chelsea! It's the opening statement in the final. And it could be massively important for them. Well, here's the goal again, and you have to say the patience of the passing is outstanding. They're just waiting for the right time to penetrate, and then what a finish. That's been hit. Nicely timed tackle. Well, he likes to run at them. This could be the equaliser. Well, here's the replay and confirmation that he did get a touch on the ball. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to prevent the goal. Sam. Can he put them in front? Denied by the bar. Back in play here. Commentator's curse. Sam. Could be dangerous. And the keeper flings himself at the ball. 
And Liverpool might be able to cash in. And that puts them in position. Well, he made great contact with that one. But the goalkeeper had his own ideas. Shielding the ball superbly. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Now, will they do it from here? Huge piece of goalkeeping to keep the game level. Well, what a... Mane. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes. But this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. If my player is dead and I will not be playing the rest of the match, that's extra time because of avoiding injury. Like he's literally dead, he has no stamina in his bar left. So just going to oh I can even request it so but I thought I thought that was out, that's why I didn't do that since but thank God that Harvest things for that at the end that was the bar that was like three losses in this in this episode already and this is this is already the worst episode that we've already had. Let's just hope that we are going to be able to win this and we don't. Kunde and Icardi get the win for for Chelsea in the extra time and that was the fucking final. And am I going to get the man of the match for the third time in a row? Okay, I do not. I, it's better that I do not, but okay, so what's left for us to win is the Premier League. Chelsea did lose their match. With, that is why we're still on 61 and 58 respectively, but <sighs> okay, Manchester United are a game at hand, or, or the, me, or us and Chelsea are a game at hand, and we are nominated for the player of the month, we do not deserve that in any way, even though we've been playing well, we just have been losing all our matches so far, and that, that is completely fucked up, if you ask me. Okay, our match objectives are to get an 8.5 rating, 10 passes in the opponent's half, and get an assist on goal, I think I'm just going to enhance this last one here, and let's just hope that this can be the match that brings up the turnaround this episode because it's, it's, it's completely fucked up that we are legit losing all of our matches. We've lost every single match we've played in this episode and that is, that is so this bad. This is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson begins in goal. Andrew Robertson starts. Well, if you're the opposing defender, you've really got to keep a weather eye on Erling Haaland. What are you expecting to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, as you can see, his form in front of goal has been... Now, shooting. hold on, Stuart. They're in here. Oh, there it is! Liverpool take the lead in the derby! And just look at the fans! Incredible! Well, as you can see, he has to get rid of that quicker. That's a poor mistake from the keeper. continue to advance and a lot of options here oh magnificent from the keeper fantastic stop let's go Varela has it can he do it and they couldn't add to their advantage well that would have put them in Holland excellent ball over the top Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? And they keep the ball moving. Goretzka. It's gone in. Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Well, as you see, it's not a good pass out from the back. It's on the wrong side of the plane he's trying to pass it to. It's intercepted, and it's a good finish. Yes, of course it is, but it's not good defending. A minimum of one minute. No more time left. First half is over here at Anfield. Alright, so I think that was enough. We got the goal. Both goals were like lucky goals, to be honest, but nonetheless, we still got the goals. We're, go we're going to be coming up for Harvey Elliott, and let's hope that Liverpool can actually come out with the win in this match.
and we do so we are still on the top of the table chelsea has got nothing on us i mean they, they still got something on us but we just have to keep winning and winning and winning till we're able to get that trophy all right i said i'll be simming through these two matches and let's see what we're able to do are we going to be able to score we got four goals and we do not score in this match Next match is against Aston Villa. We're not going to be playing it either ways. We're going to be simming past it. And are we going to be able to get the win? We do not. We actually fuck up big time. And, and that was unexpected, to be honest. That was really unexpected. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we beat them 4-2 in the first leg. So let's see if... Oh, we're being called up to the international squad. Anyways, let's see if we're going to be able to do something in this match we're coming in as the sub i'm okay with that so I'm, this is just going to be the last match of this episode after this i'll wrap it up and yeah thank you guys for watching if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to smash that like button also subscribe to the channel if you are new turn post notifications on and also drop comments on what you think about the videos and all of that so and i'll see you guys in the next video peace and make sure you watch this match to the end as well Arnold, can they create something from here possibilities here Mane oh it was close but he's put it over Liverpool have it once again opportunity it is is it going to be still a chance just missing narrowly on the volley well it's a fantastic effort Difficult. Leon Goretzka well, a decent position for Liverpool to be in. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. Corner kick played in. A goal! The opening statement of the match. A richly deserved lead. And now they can celebrate. Well, here it is again. It's a well-delivered ball into the box, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Keeping the opposition at bay with that splendid challenge. Lacazette. Sadio Mane now. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. It's gone in! Celebrate on the back of that. Well, just look at the defending here. They just don't read the danger. It's a poor goal to concede. And the break looks on. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Well, the attack fine. It's full time and Liverpool move on. Well, they were better than their opponents in nearly every aspect of the game. They were more organised, they were tactically superior and they played with such energy. They'll certainly fancy their chances going forward.